Ooh. It's nice, eh? You like that scruff. It's like when you're patting a dog and you're like giving it a really rough pat. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So Sebastian is here with me today. We're gonna do a QA. and a Yay! Everyone loves seeing Sebastian in my videos, as far as I can tell. I mean, Thank you, I, I really appreciate that. He did some makeup videos on my channel, so today we're here to answer your questions. Thank you for reminding questions. me. What? Thank you for reminding oh, me. Oh, that time you had makeup on? All my friends make fun of me, but it's okay. <laughs> Are you traumatized? <laughs> I'm a bit traumatized. He Anything did, to make her happy though, you know? He did actually ask for powder before, but then he decided to just go with the bandana, she's so lying. he's forced. She's, she's lying. So, oh yeah? I'll fold this no, up and see. No, no, no. <laughs> We love each other very, very much, and we're gonna answer your guys' questions. If you don't like mushy stuff, turn away now, because we are the ultimate mushy people. Bye-bye. So, I asked you guys on Twitter, and he asked his followers on Instagram. So, Victoria asks, how many kids do you want to have, and how many kids does Seb want to have? After you. I don't really care, but <clears throat> at least two. I'd say, yeah, I'd say two, three max. I have uh, a sister and, well, as far as I know, I gotta ask my dad. <laughs> I'm kidding, I, I only have one sister and she's my best friend and. I also have one sister. Well, one full sister and then I have three other half siblings. So yeah, at least two. I'll open one of mine, um, your mom. Wait, play it on camera. <laughs> your mom. Why isn't it working? <laughs> oh, this is. <laughs> Showing your back. <laughs> Long tail and just there. My parents went to Vietnam and she sends us all Snapchats. I like that. I love it. New F93 says, How did you guys meet? Okay, we met on Happen, which is a dating app. I don't think we should say Happen. Why not? I don't know. I guess we could. We met on Hot Singles Now. We met we met on Hookups Tonight. The way we met was uh, on a dating app called Happen and. I messaged her first, she messaged me. It took about two weeks to meet up. Why? Because she thought I was scary looking. He was like this in all the pictures. All right, here's a preview. Why you look mad in all, all right. the pictures? You trying here's to pick me up? Here's a preview of the picture. It's not scary. Just, I don't like shirtless photos in general on dating apps. Okay, anyway, so yeah, finally after two weeks, we met at the beach. I messaged her and I'm like, hey, I'm going to the beach. She's like, what beach? And uh, we met at this beach in, in Sydney. And then I saw him and then we went for pizza and we chatted for ages and pretty much after then we hung out every single day for six months. <laughs> okay, next question comes from Twitter. Jagger Jassos asks, when are you getting married? We are getting ma- Sorry. We are getting married in January next year. But we'll share all the photos. Oh yeah. And everything. It's gonna be <clears throat> in summer in Sydney then, so. Um, we've got a really beautiful venue and we can't wait to show you the pictures once it's happened. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. My turn. So, that's a question I asked on Snapchat. Oh. How did you propose? <laughs> See, I don't even know how Snapchat works. So, I proposed, we were out camping in Canada, Ontario, Tobermory. It's really, really beautiful. Uh, it was in a little small creek. In Very Tobermory. quiet. Very quiet, nobody around. I ruined the moment by, he was stopping the canoe and he was like, let's stop here. And I was like, oh good, I need to pee. So I like jumped out and like went to pee in the bush. And then I came back and you were... And then I pretended I wanted to take a picture. Went down on one knee. It was cute. Your turn. Okay. If Chloe buys too much makeup, is there anything your fiance gets to balance things out? Sebastian likes cars and technology, cars, I'd say. Cars and technology, basically, yeah. You don't really care for clothes. No, I could wear the same thing for days. Yes, yeah, like that you just don't care about fashion that much. No, it's not That's something I like about you. Yeah, like once in a while, like I'll dress up and stuff, but Oh yeah, really. well now you have more clothes. Oh yeah, now. Probably from well, my influence. Well, yeah. I'm happy with whatever you wear. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad. Next question comes from Sebastian's Instagram. Nasa Quatrini. Will you both come to Argentina someday? Sorry, Sorry for my bad English, but that, that was, was actually <laughs> perfect. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Argentina. You definitely, keep telling me. Definitely gonna go to Argentina. Definitivamente vamos a ir a Argentina. Quizá para Mendoza. Eh, me visita toda la familia que tengo allá. What I was saying in Spanish is that we're definitely gonna go to Argentina to visit all my family down there. Which one of you is a better cook who makes the best meals? 
Well, only because I don't cook at all, but if I were to cook, I would be better than you. <laughs> I doubt it. Well, listen, lady, I'm a better cook so far. <laughs> End of story. Hey, I've cooked really nice things for you. When? What? I cooked lamb that time. <laughs> you know why I can't remember that? <laughs> when was this? It was when we were back in Australia, <laughs> so ages ago. <laughs> was it the preheated, the one that they make in No! The... <laughs> I made it, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I made I you laugh. I don't remember that. Yeah, because you're an ungrateful are you sure? Are you sure it was for me? Yes! Who was it for? It was for you, are I you made sure? you fucking lamb. Who did you and make lamb? And I overcooked it. Who did you make lamb for? You. It wasn't me. It was Who you. Who was it? <laughs> If what it was wasn't lamb, name? it was beef. What was his name? Fuck off, it was you. I don't remember. And it was overcooked. Guys, do you think she's lying to me? I just don't cook much because I live by myself. And then like, I don't know. I just, I like it, but God, I hate washing up. Okay, you're the better cook, fine. Thank you. Lucky number one. How did you know Chloe was the one? Um, it took a while to crack this egg. It did take a while to crack this egg. We were friends for a, for a while. I don't know, we just clicked so well. Yeah. I think because we got along as friend, <laughs> friends first, and we really were like friends, and we hung out all the time, and then... It, w it was more than just hanging out. It was more about how I told her everything. Like everything yeah. from the gecko. We can talk about anything, that's for sure. I've never been more open with anybody than you. Well, I feel like I fell in love you, with you really fast. We just have so much fun together and we can tell each other anything and talk to each other about anything. And I think I actually knew that I wanted to be with you though, forever and ever, like when I met your family. Mm -hmm. And when you see someone's family and you know, the environment that they grew up in, it tells you a lot about someone. I don't know, just everything about you. Everything about her, I, I love. Even when I fart? You know, that's the funny thing. I think she's an alien because she never hear her fart. I do though. But I never hear you. They just creep out. They don't make a noise. Speaking of fart, the other question that I got on mine is if me and her fart in front of each other. And that comes from... It took a while, but he definitely farts in front of me now. And I don't fart much. I think I have farted in front of you. Yeah before surely but they're not noisy ones so i just have to tell you <laughs> and then we laugh well yeah you've told me but i've never heard it yeah i think it's an urban legend <laughs> i i have i have yeah you farted like three times in bed yesterday i find it cute next one who is your celebrity crush to the both of us yours is jennifer um yours is the girl out of friends fuck what's her name jennifer aniston mm. mine is Oh, I'm supposed to say? You're supposed to say mine. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Yeah. It's not fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird because mine's Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. And his is Jennifer Aniston. I don't know why, but I've always had a crush on her. I like Brad Pitt's jaw, but yours is better. Okay. Fucking better say that. What do you like most about each other? <clears throat> Love your vids, by the way. Thanks. What do you like most about me? I like your sense of humor. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. She has a great sense of humor, as you guys all know. Um, she really makes me laugh. <laughs> we have a lot of fun together. Yeah. I and think... Oh. I think she's the life of the party. I like how caring you are hmm. and nurturing. Like when I see you with your nieces and stuff and with your family. Yeah, well, thank you. That's my favorite thing about you. And that you're very affectionate. Yeah. You have a boogie? It's just itchy. <laughs> What is the most annoying thing about Chloe that you have come to love? The most annoying thing about Chloe that I... you've come to love. Because I can think of what he finds most annoying out of me, but he doesn't love it. Yeah. Ah, got it. She's always on time. And I'm not the type of person that's on time. I oh. always used to be like late. Like even even ten minutes or five minutes. I've always I always used to be late. If I'm one clock hand over the number. Yeah, she gets really, really like stressed. Moody. But that's a good thing no, because that's stressed. punctuality. And and I've be, I've come to love that because it actually makes you a better person really. In the eyes of an, another person. For people <clears throat> that I care about or people that I respect, I don't want to keep them waiting. Yeah. Is your sex life bomb? Yeah. 
How did you and the beautiful Chloe deal with long distance relationships? Um, WhatsApp. I spoke on the phone like once, sometimes twice a day, FaceTiming. And then I also, we haven't really been apart for more than like a month and a week or two. A month and a half tops. But is the max we've been away from each other. Yeah. Because I, as a YouTuber, I'm able to travel and he also works for his own company. So he can travel too whenever it's possible. So we actually see each other a lot. What movie character would describe me best and what character would describe you best? Oh, that's a really good one. You would be, you are the chicken in my one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Well, I want to be a smart, witty, feminist character. Oh, okay. You are... Bell out of Beauty and the Beast. No, fuck that. Yes! No, you, well, you're not to me. You know Scooby-Doo? <laughs> the one with the glasses. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What's the one habit that annoys you about each other? She has no patience for anything. If uh, something remotely, like, small goes wrong, she'll snap. That's because they have generalized anxiety disorder. I don't like about you is that you walk, step out of your clothes and you don't put them away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not arguing. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Madzy96. This is an interesting one. Does she get jealous that you're a stripper? So Sebastian does do stripping. It's not his only job, but he does it on weekends and he's very good. Does she get jealous that you're a stripper? Hell no. Nah. I love it. I go and watch his shows whenever I can. And all the guys that do it are really nice. And it's a really fun, funny show. Like it's just fun. He told me very early on and I've been to his shows and I don't get jealous when I'm not there. And women hit on him all the time obviously um but he's really good and it's just a fun show like it's not anything <laughs> heavy or anything it's just fun let me tell you something the moment i told i told her which was the first date she loved it she <laughs> told me she loved magic mike and all this stuff i'm like these guys know how much i love magic mike <laughs> <laughs> i like it because it means that you're not a prude i don't like prudishness i don't like like it's just not, I will not get along with someone if they're a prude. Like I'm a very open person. I like talking and making jokes about sex and stuff. And so I find that you're a stripper to be really fun. That's what it is. That's what I love about her right there. That's what I love about her. She has an open mind. I don't like to take it, take anything too seriously. All right. Oh my God, this is a good one. Go for it. Can you do an impersonation of each other? My husband and I have each other down to a T. It's hilarious. Hi, I'm Sebastian. I'm <laughs> oh my god. I'm from Canada. I'm from Argentina. I like mate. I like motorcycles. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> that's the laugh you do. <laughs> that's a sarcastic laugh. <laughs> Let's put some shrimp on the bobby. I'm Chloe. <laughs> I can't do it, babe. That's really bad. It's really bad, I know. But mine was just as bad. Ooh, look at me. I do makeup. What accent is that? I don't know. Do you or Seba have any hidden talents or is there something that not many people know about you guys separately and together? Yeah. Well. I'm a stripper. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a pretty big talent. It's not easy to go in front of 500 women. And get your kid off? Yeah, kid off? It means take your clothes off. Oh, and get my, yeah. My hidden talent is that I can roll my belly. If well, do, I'm not I, the only person in the world that can do it. If I do that, I'll fart. <laughs> do it! Is Seba the same age as you? No. Have you possibly had friends, relationships more commonly with older individuals? I've always had friends that are a little bit older than me. I don't really have many friends that are younger than me. That's for sure. All my friends are a bit older. Yeah. At least by a few years. All my close friends. And you are turning 30 next year. And I'm 26. So therefore I am 29. Disregard what you said about the 30. I am 29. Yeah, next year you're 30. I'm 29. Forever? I'm 29. <laughs> next question from Catherine Hall 14. Is communication different when you're in Toronto and Chloe's in Australia due to time difference? Yes. It does get hard because like I'll be awake and you'll be asleep. <laughs> 
Yeah, but you know what? We, uh... There's a bit of overlap in the day. It's a good overlap. Lizzie Max asks, how is the relationship between your family and Seva's family? How do each other's parents feel about your relationship? My parents love you. Um, and they met him when we were just friends. I brought him down to my hometown and they met you then. And I don't think they really knew it was gonna be serious. My sister loves Seba. She met homie. Yep. Ellie. My parents um, really love Chloe. They see how well she treats me. Um, they see how well we get along. And um, that's what they love. That's mm -hmm. how their relationship is and that's how they want. Your um, parents are really fun and funny though and easy to get along with and I yeah. love them too. Okay, this will be interesting. At what age will our children have to be in order to start wearing makeup or playing with makeup? Well, I don't know about that stuff, so I'm gonna let you answer this one. I think they can be allowed to play with it as much as they want. I don't think it's appropriate for little kids to wear makeup like out in public. You know, it's just something to do if you like playing with it at home. But I don't see a reason why they should start wearing it until, you know, age 15 or 16. That's about when I started and I thought it was good. I never took anything overboard. But I think you can play with makeup at any age or of any gender at any time. Um, is, is that it? I think that's it. All right, guys, um, thank you for having me on the show. Thank you very much for coming <coughs> on my show. And I will see you when we go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for asking all those questions, guys. Um, we tried to answer all of them, but they were all basically the same question. <laughs> when so. are you having babies? How did you meet? Yeah, that was so, like the main one. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments and maybe there'll be a part two to this someday. Maybe. maybe Probably not, not though, because we had a lot of technical difficulties and it was fucked, so. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this like... Crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao.